Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! League Commissioner and owner, Al Davis, possessed the ability to leverage his experiences like none other in the game's history. The vertical game, a quick strike, take what we want offensive philosophy, and bump and run, an in-your-face pressure defense. left behind a legacy of innovation that changed the sport forever. Standing firm in his beliefs with the courage of his conviction, he broke down barriers to give others opportunities. Tom Flores, the first Latino head coach in NFL history. Art Shell, the first African-American head coach in the modern era. And Amy Trask, the first and only female chief executive in the NFL. Mr. Davis's bond with his players was unbreakable. His loyalty and compassion towards the men who played for him was exceptional. A record nine players walked into football's immortality with Al Davis as their presenter. A place where his legacy will always be preserved. The enshrinement is a reflection of a life's work, a reflection of a love of football, but the greatest game the world has ever known. But this honor, is a testament to a great organization and to all the capable people who have poured their talent, enthusiasm, and loyalty into the greatness of the Raiders and the Raiders' legend in the state. His will to win is unsurpassed in the world of sports. His organization's commitment to excellence led to decades of dominance, including three Super Bowl victories, an AFL championship, four AFC championships, 14 championship game appearances, and 17 division championships. There will never be another Al Davis, and his legacy will live on forever. Welcome to Inbounds, and I'm Jessica Anderson. I'm honored to introduce to you today Stanford Route number 26, starting cornerback of the Oakland Raiders. How are you doing today, Stanford? Oh, pretty good. Just uh, taking it one day at a time. Gotcha. So you are from Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. You attended uh, Canali High School in Austin, Texas, where you were a two-sport standout in football and in track. Oh, yeah. You then went on to attend the University of Houston, mm -hmm. where you also excelled in football and in track. Mm -hmm. And you um, have been with the Raiders since 2005, and you are in your seventh season. Oh, yeah. That about sums it up. Okay. We're glad to have you here today. So my first question is, um, you're very athletic in high school and in college. Mm -hmm. How has track helped you become a better football player? 
Hmm. No, oh, for starters, uh, track always uh, it always helped me with my foot speed. Uh, number one and uh, number two, it would help me with my endurance. And uh, the one thing about track is that it's more of a singular sport. It's not really a team sport. Mm -hmm. And you know, with playing corner, you're always on the yourself. So it's got a lot of it's got a lot of correlation, you know, in between the two. With uh, you know, being by yourself, mm -hmm. always kind of have to take care of your own business and uh, you know, just uh, taking care of things out there by yourself on that island. Okay. So, how can one improve their speed? Hmm, boy, that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> anything from uh, long distance running to um, simple um, speed training, you know, uh, running uh, 60 meter sprints, 40 meter sprints, stuff like that. Uh, anything from uh, squats in the weight room to power cleans. Boy, it's, it's a lot of different ways you can, uh, you can improve your speed. Okay. How can a DB um, improve their footwork? What would you suggest? <laughs> Uh, I would suggest a whole lot of cone drills, a lot of ladders, and uh, a whole lot of work on the football field uh, in your cleats. Okay. So uh, you went from Canali High School straight to university, which mm -hmm. is a big accomplishment. Um, how was it like attending um, University of Houston, and what would you recommend to students out there uh, who would like to attend a college like University of Houston? Mm, man, I, I loved all my time at University of Houston. You know, big city, fourth mm -hmm. largest city in the country. Uh, you know, great football, great track program uh, with Leroy Burrell and Floyd Hurd uh, coaching me on the track. It was, uh, it was a fun time. Anybody uh, trying to go to University of Houston or just going to college in general, I would uh, have to tell them that uh, college isn't hard. It's just something you got to get through. Uh, it definitely takes determination and you got to have perseverance. But uh, anything other than that, like I said, they'll be just fine. Yeah, it's all about working hard, right? Mm -hmm. um, so at the University of Houston, how did you balance your study time and sports? <laughs> oh man, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Just, uh, man, a lot of rest, a lot of studying, uh, time management. It was a few times, you know, where I couldn't really go to like a party after a game or after a track meet and stuff like that. But you know, it just, uh, it all comes with the territory. If you want to be good at something, and you want to finish up, you got you to gotta make sacrifices. Okay. So we obviously know that you're healthy and you're fit. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend to viewers at home who are wanting to get in shape? Mm. I would recommend uh, a healthy diet and uh, a lot of exercise. So a healthy diet, mm -hmm. um, what are some foods that you'd recommend? Oh man, uh, salads. salads. Anything uh, cutting down on the carbohydrates. Uh, pasta is always a good, uh, a good source. And uh, a lot of juices, uh, definitely got to have your green vegetables, and uh, just cut out the red meat. Okay, so he says cut out the red meat. Mm -hmm. So lastly, um, what are some words of wisdom that you recommend to student athletes? Oh man, uh, just keep fighting, don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do something, and uh, just keep going for your goal. Okay, keep shooting for the stars, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for having, uh, for having our interview today. Okay. I'm Jessica Anderson with Inbounds and we'll see you next time. So long.